Hello and welcome to Talking Politics at the Hindu with Nistula Hebbar, a show where we'll try and get on top of all the news that's making the buzz in domestic politics. This week, we will look at the polling season on in four states in one union territory, especially the massive Nandigram face-off between West Bengal Chief Minister Mohuta Banerjee and her great protege turned better noir, Shuvendu Adhikari. Also, the runaway EVM in Assam and the 48-hour gag on BJP's campaign powerhouse, Himanta Biswa Sarma. Polling day in Nandigram was being built up as a set piece of the West Bengal Assembly elections. And it lived up to its promise of high voltage drama, sit in dharnas, stone pelting on Shuvindu Adhikari's cavalcade, etc. etc. This was the seat where West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee came face to face with her former protege and fellow traveller uh, turned Betenwa, Shuvindu Adhikari. Well, fireworks were not reserved for West Bengal alone, but also took off in the neighbouring state of Assam. A set of EVMs from the Ratabari Assembly constituency were found in a BJP candidate's car and resulted in the countermanding of polls in specific polling booths. It embarrassed the election commission, it led to the suspension of several poll officials and allowed opposition to raise several questions on the working of uh, EVMs, their transport, etc a policy that the Election Commission had just reviewed in 2018. Now, if that wasn't enough, the last 48 hours have also seen the gagging of BJP's powerhouse campaigner, Himanta Biswa Sarma, who had been asked not to campaign by the Election Commission via order uh, after he was accused of having threatened the Bodo People's Front leader, Hograma Mohilari. Uh, Mr. Sarma has said that he's not going to raise any legal challenge on the issue and in any case, Tomorrow evening will be the silencing of campaign for Kerala, for Puducherry, for Tamil Nadu and for Assam. Both the BJP and the Trinibul Congress accused each other of voter intimidation and prevention of their party workers from manning the polling booths at uh, polling stations. What do booth managers do? Basically, polling booth managers try and prevent um, um, any kind of voter intimidation of their support base. They try and facilitate uh, people who they think are going to be voting for their parties to to find their uh, 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 you know to get their ID cards vetted and you know to find the process to smoothen the process of voting for them, and of course to raise objections if there are cases of EVM malfunctions etc etc. So Nandigram came and went, but that is not going to be the end of the face-off in uh, West Bengal. Uh, uh, the capture of Eastern India, um, first Assam and now West Bengal, has been. Uh, an idea that has taken hold of Union Minister, uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah as, as a particular project which is dear to him. Uh, and also the RSS. Um, both the RSS and the BJP feel that it is the home of the Jansang because Jansang founder Shama Prasad Mukherjee was born uh, in West Bengal and uh, spent most of his political life uh, dealing with issues of West Bengal. And therefore, uh, to capture West Bengal uh, is a long term goal for them. In the assembly polls, however, Nandigram is just one showpiece uh, of a contest. The real battle will start uh, post April 10th when seats surrounding uh, Kolkata, um, euphemistically called Greater Kolkata seats, uh, will be going into polls. Here the battle is fierce and uh, the, the future of who gets to rule from writers building in Kolkata will be decided there. Stay tuned with us. Stay with us. Uh, on Talking Politics uh, with Nistula Hedbar uh, as we go into the next few weeks and unfold and unpack these, these uh, assembly polls for you.